I still see people on their cell phone or eating or you know putting makeup on I guess <laughs> things like that so uh, and you know I don't see people getting arrested and you probably see people doing all kinds of things behind the wheel of a car the ad council of Rochester says distracted driving is a growing problem and recently found out just how big a problem it is locally the ad council of Rochester released the findings today of a survey on distracted driving and the findings really are startling. I'm Rich Funk. And I'm Leah Lando. The survey is part of a local campaign headed by the Ad Council to put a stop to distracted driving. Lynette Adams has more on the numbers and what drivers have to say about this problem and she joins us from the newsroom with this story. Lynette. Well, Leah, the Ad Council wanted to start the conversation about this problem and get the community to begin to work on the solution. So it wanted to see just how serious the problem of distracted driving is and this is what they found. If I see some, a car next to me and a person doing that, I try to actually get away from them. Henrietta resident Amish Raghunandan tries to stay away from people who are doing things behind the wheel while they're driving and could be distracted. You've got to be defensive, right? So um, usually I speed away. Raghunandan is not alone. And the Rochester Ad Council says distracted driving is a growing problem right here in our area. It recently conducted a survey to get a handle on the depth of the problem, and the findings were startling. We know from the survey that uh, people know it's an issue. They know it's not safe. They even know that other people can't do it safely, but there seems to be a disconnect between what they know and what they do. The Ad Council conducted an online survey of 800 drivers and observed 11,000 people in their cars at 10 of the area's busiest intersections like this one at West Henrietta Road and Jefferson Road in Henrietta. A quarter of the survey participants admitted texting while driving within the last month. The national average is 18 percent. One out of three people admitted to talking on their cell phone without a hands-free device. The number was even higher among young adults. We were surprised to learn that in Rochester the, the rates in both of those studies were higher than in comparable studies that were done both nationally and in as places as nearby as Syracuse. And drivers themselves are concerned. I fear it because you know you hear these stories and you hate to be on the wrong end when you're not doing anything wrong. I've seen accidents. I've been like a fender bender once and it was so scary, but and it's just, it's something that can be so easily prevented. You know what I mean? The Ad Council will unveil a much bigger campaign in about a month. It will be similar to the No Smoking campaign and others you've seen over the years with the goal of saving lives.